Did you watch the thing, uh, the uh, the Senate, the uh, the Congressional Intelligence Committee subcommittee? Yes, on I your, did. Yeah. Okay. Then you see when Commander Frave, the Navy pilots, they know, oh, but well, we don't understand the physics. Yep. Okay. I, I even talked to um, Ryan Graves on my podcast, and he was all talking, right. He was see, now, well, you should have. So you should try to get now in the future. You should get Ryan to come talk to me together and get and then i'll explain it to him what he's you know because they well, don't ryan was only seeing it on his radar he never actually saw no, it no no but uh, I, i'm not t- it doesn't matter i'm trying to it's, uh, so it's uh, he's he's confused he doesn't know how it can work i can explain to him how it works simple mm-hmm. right. elementary it's elementary physics of general relativity of einstein that's all they don't understand enough physics so to them you know right. they, well, they don't yeah. understand it and and the point is nobody understands it in the in the military mm. they don't understand it Elizondo doesn't understand it. Chris, none of these guys understand it, but they could understand it. They'd listen to me and a few other. You know, it's very easy to understand. We understand it perfectly. Mm-hmm. It's elementary, my dear Watson. Okay, we understand it theoretically, but we don't necessarily know. We don't know if anybody has been able to actually back engineer that. Well, we that's a different story. The back engineering—that's a whole different story. Right. That's we don't whole- know. We don't know if we can actually create that. We know how, theoretically, we know how anti-gravity works, right? Yeah. Like Bob Lazar explained this. No, many- no, okay. Now, Bob Lazar doesn't explain it. That's a whole other thing. Don't, Bob, Bob Lazar is not a physicist. Bob Lazar is what's called a useful idiot of the military-industrial complex who's been given a certain amount of information. Actually, that comes from stuff I was working on in the 70s with Abdus Salam. At the, uh, uh, you know, some of what, when he talks about gravity A and gravity B, mm-hmm. that's what was called the Salam theory, the F gravity, strong, mm-hmm. short range gravity, part of the nuclear physics. Yeah, we, I was, that part has some truth in it, although he doesn't explain it properly because he's not a physicist, okay? Let me see if I can regurgitate my layman view of how he explained it. He explained that there was a reactor inside of this sport model UFO saucer that when the saucer went from horizontal to vertical, it flew belly first. And what it did was it sort of displaced matter in front of it so that when the thing moves from left to right it sort of falls okay it doesn't okay number one i don't think it, you, that's probably your error I, mean, I don't think he said matter he said it displaces the, the vacuum displaces the space itself yes that's what i meant okay yeah not matter that's different but yeah and that's warp drive that's what i'm talking about it's warp drive so he has he had part of what he says is true, but it's sloppy. It's not done properly. But but when he gets to the uh, nuclear, the one fifteen, you don't need any of that. You don't need that one fifteen. The stuff. element one fifteen. Yeah, it's stupid. It doesn't. And he never explains. Suppose I have a, a, new, a stable isotope of element one fifteen. What's the equations that show me how that affects the? Gra- how does that warp space? Show me how to do that. He doesn't know how to do that because it can't be done. Mm. See, it's bullshit. That's what's called pseudophysics. That's a, that's a story for idiots, but that's a story he's been given. He's been, he's like Benowitz, you know, the, the, the Benowitz story. He's been, you know, okay, I can see, I, I was, Lazar, he's like an all-American kid, and he was, he's, he's intelligent. He's a, he's a good salesman. He's articulate, mm-hmm. okay? He presents himself well, back, especially back in the 80s, and actually, he was into warp drive before I was. So somebody had told him, I mean, it's only later that we really that I that I really realized it was warp drive, only actually last twenty years maybe. So somebody, but that's maybe because see this is time travel. So I think what's happening is that, and this is I'm speculating now, is that the stuff that we're going to build, Sarfati Space Corporation, <laughs> okay, mm-hmm. is going to make that some of that stuff was sent back in time to the '80s to Area 51. Where Lazar comes into the picture, and um, maybe, maybe one of the guys are in the saw. Maybe one of the maybe, maybe the time travelers, you know, who go back to Area Fifty One. I'm now I'm sp- I'm I'm spinning. You know, I'm not. I'm, this is speculative. I'm not saying this really happened, but it would make sense. This is a possible explanation. And so the the guy from the future came back and told Lazar. Or told some of the guys there, the, the scientists there, who then told the czar, but they watered it down. They gave a, what's called disinformation. Mm-hmm. What, what did you call Limited it? Limited hangout. Limited hangout. They gave that. Yeah. So something what it is? Something a little bit, a sliver of something that's true. Yeah. And, and what? But uh, not the whole pie. Yeah. But yeah. Right. Um, 
And also, they, that may have been done deliberately so that uh, uh, straight physicists like me would right away dismiss, oh, this is crazy, you know, which is part of the stigma, the whole stigma, because they don't want the Russians to know, they want the Chinese, you know, whatever, national mm. security, all that kind of crazy stuff, okay? So that could be. So I was actually surprised when I actually first listened to Lazar talk about gravity and gravity B, because that's kind of what I'm working on, but he didn't explain it you know, the way I would explain it. Mm. So he had a piece of it without really understanding it. And again, as I said yesterday, there are different levels of physics. Uh, there's community college, right? Associate degree. There is four-year college, undergraduate, bachelor degree. There's, then, there's the master's level and then the PhD level. Lazar is a smart associate degree level type Tech, electrical technician, you know, yeah. physics technician. He's that's that's what his job was. What he was, you know, he's not, you know, and he lied. The problem is he also he lied about his academic background. He said he went to MIT and Caltech. He didn't. Right. There's no evidence of it. But no. but there's an argument to the MIT thing. There's an argument that if um, a, someone like Los Alamos wanted him to acquire some sort of specific knowledge, they could have sent him to MIT covertly to sort of learn something as yeah, part of some po dark problem that's possible program. that's possible but it's clear to me that uh Lazar doesn't know any math he doesn't know physics he doesn't know th he's not a theoretical right. see that's, if he were to write down equations right. and i could tell right away but he's just given a script he's reading off a script he didn't create this it's not his creation right and he was he's reading off a script that somebody gave him. Now, the people who gave him that script, they may know what I'm talking about. But it wasn't Lazar. We don't know who Lazar spoke to back mm. in Area 51. Okay.